Hello there. You're listening to Shay's Bills Podcast. And here's your host, Shilano. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? It's Shilan. We're back with another episode for you. Um, we are recording this in June. It is a little bit warm. It's not too sticky. Summer is here, but I'm yet suffering from hay fever. So that's one joys of the summer, I guess. I suffer from this. And I thought I was going to improve. And I have, thankfully. But the, 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 the first few weeks of June, whoa, whoa, I could not leave my house. It was bad. I um, went to work, come home, couldn't go out. It was my nose and I had really like, it wasn't like a sore throat, but like it was really itchy, but it, it kind of had it dry and really irritating constantly. So that was really annoying. But um, anyway, you don't care about that. You're not here for that. Uh, we are here to talk about my trip to New York. Um... So yes, we finally went, I went, I mean we, me, um, finally went in May, um, the weekend of Memorial Weekend, which is celebrated fairly quick, big, quickly big in the States. Um, so I flew with Aer Lingus, I went with business because I was, it was the first time I was flying by myself, uh, all alone. And not having anyone with me. So I was a little nervous on that. But I managed okay. The terminal I went the night before with my dad. So I got a bit of an idea of where to go and all that. And I read where and followed the signs to get everywhere. Uh, security was a little long but um, got you like. Um, and then I just, I didn't really go into duty free. I just went straight to go to US Customs. Because I knew that would take a while to get through. Um, and this was like eight o'clock in the morning because usually they, that's the kind of busy time they would have people flying for America between like eight o'clock till 12 o'clock. So I decided to just go down as quickly and get that done and get all that, uh, like the, the nerves and anxiousness um, away from me from that. And I got through fine. I was wearing a hoodie saying cam and the the. the is he a police officer? Customs officer, I guess. He was like, are you Cam? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I am, I think. Um, yeah, and got, I got through, thank God. Um, and yeah, I was waiting for a bit for my flight. My flight wasn't till five past 11 in the morning, but this was half eight. <laughs> so I had a bit of waiting around. Um, I got a Red Bull and I drank that. Um, went to the toilet waiting and all that. I was a lot of people and myself were waiting outside the gate to get in. So like the gates of the door where we would be wasn't even open and we just sat around waiting and standing. <laughs> um and finally the doors were open and so we went up and I sat up there and rang my grandmother when I was waiting. Um and I was fine and next thing I, I saw on my Instagram story someone I know from gaming, I uh, was flying to New York at the same time, Audrey, um, was flying over to New York to see Taylor Swift, yep, dedicated, Swifty, um, and funny enough, now Taylor Swift has announced um, this week in June that she is going to be flying with her era tour to Europe, so that's going to be a massive deal, and it's two nights in the Dublin um, Viva, um, stadium so we're i'm excited i i've registered for it so i'm hoping to get tickets um yeah i i want to go because i that was another thing if i knew taylor swift was going to be in new jersey uh the same time i was going to be there and i did try to get the tickets but you know Ticketmaster fucked that up with the pre-sale um and sure if you wanted to buy the tickets in the second hand website it was like nearly a grand each so thanks but no thanks um but uh yeah flew over in the day got there to new york around half one baggage was really slow i, f- I freaking hated that that was really slow uh also i didn't realize they were charging you for the trolleys and i tried grabbing one and this guy who worked in the airport told me off and i looked and was like i'm i'm a foreigner i don't know what i'm doing duh like <laughs> 
um and then my 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 poor suitcase broke <laughs> the wheel kind of went off and i had no handle and it was a bit of a disaster so we had to throw that suitcase away and i got another one which was fine and um that was the thursday and i had a barbecue with my aunt uh she collected me my leash and um yeah we had a quite nice that night i was pretty tired went to bed at nine o'clock I was awake at 6 a.m. Every day, every day, like, I was up, I was awake early. I think it must have been the jet lag of some sort. But, um, yeah, the Friday we packed and we went um, in the city. We were staying there for two nights, the Friday and the Saturday. Um, so we explored a bit. So I went to Grand Central. It was really busy there, but it was nice. Um, and then we went to Chelsea Market, which was really cool. Oh my god, there was one certain place. I've forgotten the name of the pizza place, but the smell of the pizza in there. Oh my god. I would have just sat there happily just smelling the pizza. It just smelled, it just smelled amazing. Um, and it's fresh, freshly made. It, everything there was all fresh and made on the... Um, on the spot and it it's uh, the smells and everything was amazing uh we didn't actually eat anything there just i didn't really kind of feel like it um we then went to see the vessel which is in hudson yards um so the vessel was released it's only four years old it's a weird architectural building um you will see it if you go onto my um photography instagram which is shutter me flutter on Instagram or shut me flutter photography um on Instagram if you would check that out. Um it's a bronze hectagon kind of weird building. Um unfortunately it had I it was it was open but on with circumstances of unfortunately four suicides um they have decided to close it um because people were jumping off and that's horrible um in general so that's so sad as well like you know these these four families have lost someone um and they were all young um as well so they've closed that off you can walk through it in the bottom ground but you that's all you can do i don't even know if you pay we didn't even bother with that but i had my photos um and we went into this building called the hudson yards which is basically a new shopping mall um with all these high brands so guess louis vuitton you name it and all these other kind of brands that are very popular with the asian buyers um which i don't even know the brands to be honest <laughs> but yeah <laughs> um so we went there there was a really nice place for we went for lunch it was called the queen's yard really recommend that go there they had a really beautiful dessert menu and I don't tend to go for a sweet I'm not like a sweet tooth anymore since working as a chef so I'm more savory but I had a mushroom risotto and I had this after rate mousse and oh my god that was amazing and the, the, the whole of it was so nice um, and after that we went to the observation deck on the edge which is actually in the same building as the Hudson Yards so it's grand we, we didn't have to go far we just had to go on an elevator um, to the fourth floor I think. and you just show your 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 pass or whatever and you go from the fourth floor to a hundred and something floors so it was quite it was quite quick, but it was just, if there was windows or anything, you'd be creeped out. Um, and yeah, you get to see the whole view of New York City. Basically, it's just like the same as like Rockefeller and Empire State Building point of views. It's just another taller building. Um, you get the same point of views from each of those. Um, you get to see the Hudson River and all that. And that was cool. And see the little Statue of Liberty. Um, and that was nice. Um, we, we spent about a half an hour there and then went back there and um i can't really remember what happened after that. i think we went back to the hotel uh we were getting ready because we were going for dinner in the harriet's hotel in brooklyn so that's right on um, the beside on, well, it's on yeah well it's kind of on the side it's very close to the brooklyn bridge so we drove on brooklyn bridge as well which was cool um with the uber and we had a drink there and then we went down downstairs again for um dinner dinner i will so with the jet lag i was suffering nausea <laughs> um so it made me i wasn't feeling good between and unfortunately i don't know why it was at these specific times in american time it was from half six to about half eight it made my stomach really 
I couldn't eat properly with it. It was not great. And I, I felt really bad because my aunt booked the dinner and the only thing I had was hummus. We were unaware that the chef actually changed the menu that week as well. The menu wasn't great. Um, if I'm honest, it wasn't. Um, and um, then, yeah, we went home to the hotel and went to bed at around half nine, ten o'clock. We were fairly wrecked because we were up early. Um, and then Saturday... We got up at six o'clock. We were kind of waiting around. We went to the cent or uh, Grand Central train station again. There was it, there's other ent- there's so many entrances to that train station by the way. So there's different ways, and we went through this new modern building, and there's a bagel shop called the Black Seed. We went there and got a bagel. I went for a really dry, I don't know why I went for it. I went for egg and cheese bagel. It was pretty dry. I, 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 if I can go back, I would pick something more moist. Because it, it was just really dry. And I had, yeah, it was just, it was dry, but like it was nice. But like, eh, you know. Um, So yeah, I had that. And we, where did we go? We went to Times Square at 9 o'clock. That was quite early. Because uh, it would have been absolutely packed. Um... It, it's, yeah. Time Square is okay. Like it's it's. It, I was there when I was a child. Um. When I I went, when two thousand six, seven, eight. I'm not sure what year. I'm terrible, but um, it's a while ago. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, it 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 wasn't really. I was like, wow, this is so cool. It was more, like, it was okay. Also, to be careful, there was these um, people dressed up as, like, a Wish version, like, um, of Mickey Mouse and all these. You had to be careful because they charge you for photo and they're rip off, you know. So, try to stay away from those. We went to Sephora. It was okay. It was really hot in there. I don't know why their heating was on. It was so stupid. Um... And yeah, we walked from there and we got an Uber and we headed out to Manhattan again near um, Brooklyn. So we decided, well, I booked a helicopter ride. So we got to see New York uh, from a helicopter high point of view. So we got to see the Hudson River again. We saw Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island. We saw the observation deck again. We were there the day before. Um, which was really cool. Good to see all that. It was me. And here, here's the thing. I was in the pilot seat with the pilot of the helicopter because I don't know why they put me there, but I was okay. I was a little nervous when we took off. That's my phone. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, it was, it was grand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, like it was 20 minutes, very quickly 20 minutes, but yeah, it was good. Um, I enjoyed it, and then we got back down. We went to a port near actually, um, where there was like these restaurants. We went into a nice. I don't remember the name. But it was a nice restaurant. I had a nice Caesar salad, um, and then it was like big old naval kind of boat, like kind of like Pirates in the Caribbean kind of boat was there, and it was thrift kind of farmer's market there as well and there's other restaurants and funny enough in the middle of it was a cinema movie theater which I don't I was like okay <laughs> very random but um yeah got an uber then and we went to see a musical and the musical we went to see was Anne Juliet um Anne Juliet he was in the West End uh, from 2018 19 to this year in March it closed um it was in Manchester as well, uh, off West End, and it was so popular. Um, decided to bring it over to America, so they did it. Their screening previews of the show in uh, Toronto, or was it Montreal? I can't remember. It was in Cana- Canada, anyway. Um, it was in Canada, and then they finally got on to Broadway, and we were there when the Tony season was on. So they were nominated for nine awards. Um, unfortunately, with the Tonys, they did not win any. Um, we're a bit gutted because honestly, they deserved it. So it was a jukebox musical where um, it's Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare, and Anne Hathaway. If you don't know, Anne Hathaway is William Shakespeare's wife in reality, in real life. Um, and basically, it's like, what if 
Juliet didn't kill herself uh, for Romeo and what if she lived her life. So, and it's all a jukebox with music songs from Max Martin he wrote or produced. Um, so songs like from Backstreet Boys, Kelly Clarkson, Ariana Grande, um, I'm trying to think, Britney Spears, a couple of Britney Spears in there. Um, and in sync is that the, the the band that Justin Timberlake was in? I'm pretty sure there's one song in there from them. But um, yeah, really enjoyed it. We got really good seats. I booked them back in January, and it was worth it. Um, so I and I've never heard a theatre sound quality as clear as this production. I've never heard like it was just pristine compared to Borgot. Sometimes their sound is a, a little iffy. Um, but this was proper pristine. Um, yeah, really enjoy it. I highly recommend you go go to see that show. Um, or listen to their album on Spotify, uh, which you can listen to anywhere you want. I guess totally not advertising. But um, yeah, we went from there to the hotel, got ready. We had a wash and blow dry. I'm literally telling you everything. I don't care. Um, and we went for dinner in a place called Beauty in Essex. Which is, um, I don't remember where the location is, but it's really cool. Um, the whole place is on the outside of it. It's an old kind of vintage, um, antiques wear shop, and you walk through, and it's a whole different interior. It's very dark. Um, Alicia warned me, and it was, uh, filled with completely. With, swamped with loads of people big tables a load of big groups having dinner um so they kind of suggest you have six mini little tasters and then whatever you wanted um i like to three out of six um the dumpling soup which you kind of think oh it's big it's actually on a little spoon a little tomato soup um it's not tomato. well there was tomato on it but like i am little soup of liquid and then the dumpling on it oh my god that was the best thing i've ever had dumpling wise i never had dumplings and they were so good um would recommend those um and yeah we went home back to the hotel and went to bed again (laughs) um and then sunday it was more kind of relaxed we went out for breakfast to actually where did we go for breakfast on saturday I can't remember. Ooh. Oh no, I did. Black seed. Yeah, Thomas. Um, but uh, we went for breakfast um near Central Park, which was really nice outside as well. It was really warm then as well, for eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and I had French toast. It was so good. Um, and we walked through Central Park. I got to see squirrels. I was obsessed with squirrels the whole time I was over there. Um, oh, and the amount of dogs. Oh my god, the amount of corgis and min- miniature dash hounds. Oh, my heart swelled for them. Um, and yeah, we went to Central Park. It was fairly busy with all the runners and walker- walking. And we actually coincidentally met Eilish's two friends in the park, which was <laughs> very random. And then we went and got a coffee. Um, near there um and at the time we didn't know there was a a um exhibition for taylor swift next door um with i don't even remember it was some big museum clothing museum thing you know great i'm really great at this um no um and then yeah we went to get some tourist shopping i got all my tourist stuff Things are not cheap over there, I'm not going to lie. And then after that, we went on a movie and um, movie tour, which it's okay. I, I wouldn't, it was all right. Like, it wasn't, it was grand. Like, I um, got to see some places I, I wouldn't think of going. But yeah, it was grand. Um, and then, yeah, went back, came back to um, where Eilish is living and went to her local pub to see my uncle. And then we went to see a couple of friends of hers that I, basically they've seen me grow up on social media from age of 15 to now. So we finally get to meet them and their kids. It was really nice. Um, Went home and then 
Monday we went, sorry my phone again, Monday we went to the Botanic Gardens which was really nice and that was the first time when my hay fever kicked in. That was great but I managed fine, I was fine, I was fine uh, compared to home in Ireland. Oof, no, that was a difference. But yeah, no, it was good, I uh, really enjoyed that, that was nice and after that we went back home. I got to meet, was that Monday or Tuesday? I think that was Monday. We got to see another friend of hers. Um, and Tuesday we... Yes, it was Monday. Tuesday we I had a, to go into New York with uh, Eilish. And she had to work. So I had the day to myself. And I spent most of it on Fifth Avenue. And I spent four hours in the Met Museum. I didn't even do half the coverage of the Met. It was so big and I got lost so many times. Math was confusing, but really enjoyable. Except the the mummies. Uh, when I first got in, I had to go to the toilet, and I asked uh, someone, I was like, "Where's the toilets?" And they're like, "Oh, you're gonna have to go straight through the Egyptian exhibition." And I did, and I got lost a couple of times in there because I kept walking into places where mummies, cases, and um, their coffins were. And you know they're they're well designed and they they're, they're looking at you and they're it's intimidating right and I was like I don't like this I need to go and I finally found it but it was down near the American Wing, um, so I had to ask someone at the shop, where is, <laughs> um and they were helpful and said, yeah got lost in the American Wing a couple of times and I mostly stick to the medieval I enjoyed that that was just looking at the suits and all everything like that, um. Sorry, Mum, I didn't really care about the, um, Bowman can't look, uh, Italy stuff. I just went past straight at that. Sorry. Um, did look a lot of the French, um, designs as well. That was okay. <laughs> and I didn't know how to go upstairs to the second floor because it didn't, it wasn't really well, like, instructed on the map where to go. And like there was people queuing for elevators and that I wasn't quite sure where that was. And then I had to leave the way I had to leave to go um to go to the Greek mythology and Roman stuff. I had to leave and go in another entrance, which was really weird. And uh, I really thought there'd be more stuff there, but it wasn't. Um there was a virtual queue to go to see Van Gogh and Carl Lagerman from Chanel uh exhibitions. And I didn't really have the time then because by the time I finished it was one o'clock and I had another um, booking for a place called the Morgan Library at half two. The Morgan Library is just really cool. It's um, it's a library um, which has, I didn't realise it at the time, it was all these Bibles and um, religion books um, in protected and it's just the way it looks, it was really cool. But I actually didn't spend as much time in there. I only spent about 10 minutes compared to the Met. Um, I was a bit disappointed, you know. But I got the photos I wanted and I was happy with that. Though you couldn't take videos, which I found really weird. Um, like, I saw on TikTok people doing videos of the library. So what What, what does it make a difference? I don't know. But yeah, went to Starbucks after that. Um... And yeah, I went to go and look at shops, Puma, Nike, on all of Fifth Avenue. A lot of floors for nothing, to be honest. They, there wasn't much there to buy. It was like a lot more steps and all that. They have loads of staff on as well, so they're always greeting you when you come to the door. Um, and yeah, they were okay. I didn't buy in anything from them. I was looking at the Women's World Cup jerseys, so I'm definitely going to buy buying Germany's. And uh, they didn't have um Japan's. I was kind of gutted about that, but um most of the time they had a lot of Mexico, Colombia, um. I'm thinking of another country where I'm I think Spain, um, Italy because of all the people of cultures in New York, uh, Jamaica as well. There's a lot of Jamaicans in New York as well, so all of those jerseys were there, but not the ones I kind of wanted except Germany, um. So I just had a look at that just to see what was the quality like. And I like it, so I probably will get that. Um, and then I went to Michael Kors, a bottle purse there. That's that. That was kind of really it. I didn't really buy much. I bought like I didn't. There was nothing I needed. 
All I wanted was the purse because I wanted to match it with my handbag. Don't judge. Um, and yeah, and that was really it. Like I, I, and I met my aunt and we had dinner and that was kind of the final night. Then Wednesday was the day I was flying back in the evening. So I went to a local mall there and I got a couple of things from my family. Um, and um, I didn't, did I buy Oh, I bought a couple of things from Forever 21. That was cool. Because I'm going to go to see Luke Combs in October. And with Taylor Swift, I'm hoping I have the tickets. I have a jacket for it. Um, they had loads of cowboy boot stuff and everything. So I, they weren't in my size because they start from a size 5 up. I'm a size 3, so I'm tiny. Um, so I need to find a pair of boots. But um, yeah, I didn't really buy much. I had five guys, the burgers. Um, I'm pretty sure they're in Dublin as well. It was alright. It, it, it fed me, and by the time it was nearly around four o'clock, I had to go, um, to <laughs> the airport. And the airport took ages because it was traffic time, and it took about an hour and a half, uh, by Uber. And yeah, got there, and was waiting for a bit because my flight was until um nine o'clock, and there was a delay with the flight, which was annoying so we didn't take off till half nine um so we didn't arrive into dublin till um 10 past nine instead of it was a 25 minute 20 minute d- delay but it was grand um i slept okay um on the way back i felt so look Aer Lingus, they were go like the flight fine it was no bother it's just the way i was being treated in business class was a bit i didn't like that i it's always this one person like who just ignored it this woman ignored me um on the flight uh the flight attendant ignored me because she was giving everyone blankets but she didn't just give it to me did not give my blanket to me she did it to a couple of people who were asian and i thought that's not nice um, and so I asked the manager of the flight, I said, can I have a blanket? Because I was never given mine. And he gave mine. And he was really nice. He was actually the soundest of all of them. Um, and there was another lady as well who was really lovely too. But other than that, the staff, I wouldn't really fly with Erlingus because the staff were not nice. Um, if I'm honest. And the food wasn't great either. They have really nice cheese crackers though. I took a photo. I need to find them. But they're really nice. But... <laughs> That's it. Um, and I slept most of the flight. I didn't feel I feel good when I got off, and I tried eating. Um, and I had a bit of t- time because my bus was until twenty five past eleven, which was a bit of a two and a half hour delay. But it was okay. I um, got on the bus. I thought it was late. And I was panicking. I was like, "Crap! What am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do?" Um, but no, I got got on the bus and I passed out on the bus. I slept all the way down, um, and I had bought a sandwich and stuff for the bus, but I didn't eat it, I just slept, and when I got to the bus stop in Cork, my mum was there to pick me up, and I ate the, the, the sandwich then, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I was, I was a little tired, it was only, it was actually the, only the Thursday, I was really tired, um, Friday, I was fine, and I went back to work on the Monday, so, I was grand, um, but the amount of photos I have of New York was 300 or something. But honestly, the memories were amazing. Uh, and the quality time I got with my aunt, um, I actually think it made us closer, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm going to definitely come back. I have to come back. I need to go back. Um, probably in two years time. But I would love to see a sporting or concert or whatever and by the time. Because I missed Paramore were coming on the Wednesday night as well, which I was gutted. If I knew, I would have stayed an extra day. Uh, they were be they were supposed to be playing in Madison Square, um, and I didn't see anyone celebrity wise. I was so disappointed. Um, but yeah, uh, well anyway, in July I'm going to London for two and a half days with my bestie. So we're going there. Um, yeah, we're planning that. We're going to see the headers. Um, I've never I I I know the songs. I know what the musical's about. Um, so it would be interesting with that. Um, but that's really the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We have done a half an hour. That's not bad. I think I can pat my back on that. Um, a bit of gibberish really, but, um, yeah, that was my trip in New York. Um, thank you for listening. 
and I will chat to you all to you next week. Um, I'm going to be planning to do an episode on the Women's World Cup. And as we speak right now, when I'm recording this, uh, Ireland are playing against Zambia uh, in a friendly match before the World Cup. And it's only three and a half minutes in and no one's scored yet. So um, I'm hopeful for Ireland. And also they haven't announced their um, lineup yet compared to the United States and England have. So I'll be looking forward to hearing who will be playing for Ireland in this July. So with that, thank you guys for listening. Have a lovely evening and I will see you all then. Thanks for listening to Shea's Podcast. Make sure to follow Shea Spills Podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Shea Spills Pod and Shea Spills Podcast. And check out Chilano on your socials at Chilano.